New South Wales Premier Chris Minns nears one year in office. The opposition leader is ramping up his attack on the government's housing policy that comes into effect in April. Mark Speakman argues there should be a significant reduction in immigration to address the crisis. And our New South Wales political reporter Julia Bradley has this exclusive chat with him. He's the little-known opposition leader steering the New South Wales Liberal Party, which was one year ago turfed out of government after more than a decade. Look, it's um, an occupational hazard for opposition leaders to be relatively unknown. Reflecting on his first year of leadership against Premier Chris Minns, Mark Speakman says his party is using the time to regroup. How hard is it being in opposition after 12 years of Liberal governments? Opposition, you're often marginalised and forgotten about. So that, that is difficult, but it's a chance for us uh, to refresh and reflect. Despite a lack of real political power, the opposition is working to gain ground on housing, opposing the state's decision to rezone land around train stations to increase density, angering some residents and councils. They should be collaborating with communities, collaborating with councils, rather than the kind of arrogant, get out of the way approach that this government is taking. Arguing New South Wales must advocate for a cut to immigration. Overseas arrivals are outpacing the construction of new homes at a rate of almost four to one. We would be on the phone to Canberra if I were Premier. Well, how much do you think immigration should be cut by? When you've got an intake now of 500,000 last year, uh, there is enormous scope to reduce uh, immigration outside of those skilled workers. And even at 250,000, there is still enormous scope. A shortfall of 1,500 police officers is another major state battleground. Pay and remuneration uh, and those sort of conditions are one thing and they're important, uh, but it's also important to make sure that um, police aren't overworked. As for the Liberal pre-selection of out-of-towner Simon Kennedy in the federal electorate of Cook, which overlaps his seat at Cronulla... Would they have benefited from selecting a female candidate in what is a really safe seat? Look, I'll leave that to Mr Dutton and the federal Liberals, but I think the New South Wales Liberals are a great model to emulate. And with Labor in power for at least another three years... Can you assure the people of New South Wales you will be the opposition leader as we head into the next state election? Oh, look, I can't give that, that kind of assurance. I can assure them that's my, that's my intention. Julia Bradley, Sky News, Sydney.